Hi, this is Leslie Ravenscroft and I'm lucky enough to be the Senko at William Brooks School. Here's part of our school information report about how we support students with communication and inter interaction needs. So we're trying to monitor and put interventions into place for the four areas of need identified in the new code of practice. And this video is all about communication and interaction. So how do teachers know what needs the pupils have when they're sat in front of them? It's really important that the class teacher has all the information at their fingertips. The first thing we've done is made sure that when they open their register, a column shows next to the child's name. It states whether they have special educational needs. It shows T for teacher support. K for SEN support and S for ECHP for the highest levels of support. Individual teachers are expected to cross-reference this with the SEN list and one-page profiles which have more detailed descriptions of a student's needs. This shows part of a fictional SEN list. You can see we've got three students on there. At the top is a support tutor. This is a consistent person with whom the staff know, know that they can liaise about SEN stuff. So on the top line we've got Fred. He's got dyslexia and low reading and spelling age. He's on SEN support. He uses iPads for recording and he needs to have time to print things out. You need to also use sensitive questioning and pre-teaching of texts. Frida has cerebral palsy. She has a disability. Her reading and spelling ages are absolutely fine, so they're not applicable. But she will get tired during PE, and she will also need larger science equipment. And John, he's only on teacher support. He has dyscalculia, but his reading and spelling age are okay, and he's making progress currently. He might need exam concessions in the future. You also have to keep an eye on number concept when you're teaching in maths. In addition, staff know what provision is available for that child. We make sure that we adapt our curriculum and learning environment to include students with support needs in the area of communication and interaction in a variety of ways. We can provide a meet and greet for students who are anxious or disorganised. This means that a teaching assistant will meet them just before school and help them get ready for the day. We have games club at lunch times to provide a quiet sanctuary. We can adapt movement between lessons. So for instance, students could leave lessons five minutes early. This means they can avoid busy corridors and staircases. We can also use visual and coloured timetables to provide prompts to students. As you come around the school, you'll notice that the rooms themselves are painted in different colours. So for instance, if you've got maths, this will be green on your timetable and you know you go to the green area. We put in place social skills groups to teach friendship skills, maintaining friendships and establishing friendships. One young man recently asked if we could teach him how to ask a friend round for tea. We can also do homework amnesties. This is an area of great stress for many parents and um, students with special educational needs are often very tired after a day at school. So we could put it to staff that the students are only going to do English and maths homework. We aim to prepare students in advance for any stage changes in routine and we also use social stories can help students unpack the social curriculum of secondary school. In the new code of practice, it says that schools should assess each pupil's current skills and levels of attainment on entry, building on information from previous settings and key stages where appropriate. Therefore, information from primary school is seen as paramount when organising support for new year seven pupils. We go out to primary schools quite a lot. We meet with the child's class teacher, we meet with the children, and we meet, often meet with the parents. However, students adapt to secondary school at different rates and it's often necessary to reflect flexibility in teaching arrangements until past Christmas in Year 7. 
We can also ask our staff and parents to contact us if they feel that something's preventing a student reaching their potential. Students can self-refer. Often, the easiest way to do this is by email. We can purchase specialist screening from a private speech therapist and we also liaise with our primary mental health worker to start the diagnostic process for conditions such as Asperger's um, spectrum disorder. We review support needs too. Teachers are asked to make sure that the students make progress appropriate for them using a programme called Four Matrix and tutors especially are asked with tasking are tasked with watching a student's flight path. So you can see here Aaron, who doesn't really exist, he has um I'd be quite worried if, if I was looking at Aaron because his performance, the pink line, is substantially underneath what you'd expect from the green line. So at this point we would be looking at why his performance was underneath and seeing what we could do to intervene. Well, with regard to this area of need, we've provided anxiety training for our staff. Many of them are trained also in anger management and social stories. Social stories is the use of cartoon strips and talking uh, to try and get students to think about what they're saying and how they're acting and the possible impact on other people. We also use Elkland trained Hilter. This is, includes word finding when you have problems thinking about what words you should put in gaps classification of words, effective listening and other vocabulary issues. We hope that you can discuss all issues with myself and come to a mutually satisfactory, satisfactory conclusion. However, in the event of a dispute that cannot be thusly satisfied, please use the link to our school complaints procedure on this website. There are organisations to help parents wade through the local offer and the SEN report and all the other paperwork. Parent partnerships are a great service. They are thoroughly independent and their sole purpose is to work with parents to make sure that you can get the best deal for your child. Thank you for listening.